Behind me is a pumpkin and melon farm that I use in all my worlds that is automatic and efficient. What's up my gamers? Today I'm going to teach you how to make an automatic pumpkin and melon farm. Let's get right into it. I'm going to show you the materials first. So the materials you're going to need is redstone, bone meal, an observer, whatever type of seeds you like, so either melon or pumpkin, glass, water bucket, a chest, pistons, a hoe. You can use dirt if you need to fill in the land, and then a hopper. How this farm works is you put redstone down here. So I'll grab my redstone, place it on all the glass. Then one of the melons will break, which will activate the observer. Then you'll wait a while, and once the next pumpkin grows or melon, it'll push it out, and then it'll fall into a hopper and go into the chest. Then let me go down here. As you can see, when I open the chest, the melons and the pumpkins are going into it. If you want to stop it, you just go back over here and break all the redstone on the glass. Now onto building it. What you're going to want to start with is grab a piston, place it like this, grab glass, grab a piston. If you want to, you can just skip every other like this and then fill in the center with glass. Next, you can place glass right here, then build out three. So one, two, three. As you can see, like over here, it's three blocks long. Then you're going to want to build this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks long. And then do three again on that side. Once you fill in this 10, you can break the ground right here. Make sure this part right here is eight long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then how you know it's eight long is the water will end perfectly. Like that. Now what you're going to want to do is grab your hoe, till the land, place whatever seed you want, then plant it here again. I'm going to make this one all melons, so keep planting the seeds where the glass is. Then, what you're going to want to do is grab your observer. Stand right above it, if you can, and then place down, and make sure it's facing down like that. Once they're all facing down like that, you can grab your redstone. Once you grab your redstone, place it on top of here, and then you can place on all the pistons. Then come back down here, break two more of that, of the grass, then break down again. Place your double chest. Then crouch down right here and make sure it's connected to the chest. Now if you want, you can place glass across here, you don't have to. I'm going to because it makes it look better. You probably don't need this piston right here, but if you want it, you can use it. But I'm going to place glass across. Now when you're finished, you can finish putting the rest of the redstone on top of all these and across the entire bit of glass. When you're ready, break one of them, which will activate it, and then it'll keep pushing them out right when they grow. So you're gonna have to wait a bit for them to grow. That's the only downside to this part. I gotta mention this. In a normal survival world with no cheats, it will take up to 10 to 30 minutes for a melon or pumpkin to grow, which is a very long time. So you're going to have to be very patient with this farm. The only reason why it's going faster right now is because I upped the tick speed to show you how it works. So if it is not working after 10 to 30 minutes, then you might have done something wrong. That's it for the automatic melon and pumpkin farm. I think this is very useful over time, but you're going to have to be very patient with it. So if you like to, you can make it longer or stack it or just make multiple ones on your world. In the long run though, I do think it'll be useful for making like pumpkin pie 
or just eating the watermelon in general. Other than that, I really like this design. And if it didn't take so long for the melons and pumpkins to grow, I think this would be a very efficient and fun to use farm. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. And remember to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. We'll see you next time.